Now, the way she intoned that long ride, you're supposed to walk up like this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks very much. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, let me see. This is a really special time of the year for me um, because of uh, really nice family memories. Uh, I'm one of nine children. And uh, we grew up on 25 acres of land. And um, my father was probably the biggest prankster and, uh, of the family. He always won the award for scaring the living daylights out of my mother. And an example of that is, um, <laughs> although I thought the whole thing was pretty funny, when mom got up to get fix the tea, they, after ham dinner, dad took the bone, the joint of the, the, uh, the ham bone, and put it in his ear. And when she sat down, I don't know what she was thinking, but she just imagined that his ear had turned inside out or something and freaked her the hell out. So, <laughs> so that was just, as I said, that was funny, but scared the living daylights out of mom. Um, my dad was a man of his word. And uh, he said, honey, <laughs> we're going to build a house. And you get to have a one story or two story. So no matter how many children we have, whatever you decide now is it. So mom said, oh, we just want two girls and two boys, so one story is fine. And as I said, they had nine of us. So mom just got her one five-room house. Um, but when my dad, dad's father, my grandfather, passed away, we inherited the property. And I think that my mother's dream was coming true. I mean, we were going to move into this two-story house and she was actually going to be able to relax a little bit and not have nine kids running around in a five-room house. I don't know why we never did move in, but Mom prepared, and <laughs> one night she was over there scraping down the wallpaper and going to put up new wallpaper, and she took the car, um, and Dad, it was about a mile away from home, and Dad walked over, and uh, he hid in the back of the seat at night. And he put his hand up over the side. And his hand looked as big as my grandfather's, you know. And <laughs> poor mom opened up the door and the moonlight just shined on his hand and that was it. And dad, mom, I think mom was going to have a heart attack or something. Poor mom. I don't know how she survived this because dad used to do other things with us. For example, he had a tractor um, and a backhoe and things like that. And we'd get in the bucket, and we must have only been five, six, seven years old, and we'd hold on to the edge. And Dad would raise it up and then drop it real quick, and raise it up and drop it real quick. And I just don't know how my mom survived that, because to me it seems like a bit of torture and, you know, an awful lot of worrying about her children. Um, but for us, it was like going to Hirakata Park, I suppose. It was, it was an amusement ride for us, you know? So Halloween was really the best time for us. Um, everybody loved coming over to the O'Day's house. And uh, uh, with nine of us, we all had lots of friends, you know. And um, so <laughs> Dad would fill up the truck, or we'd all fill up the truck with bales of hay. And we prepared for this party for a long time. And um, we had a long cart road. and. Uh, We'd have one of us telling ghost stories and everybody following. This was after a night of parties and mom cooking and everybody having a lot of fun and winning prizes and dressing up and stuff like that. So the ghost walk was almost the finale. So we'd go down the ghost walk and somebody would tell ghost stories. <laughs> and um, one of us would ride a horse um, with, the, with the trench coat over our head and call ourselves the Headless Horseman. And we'd scare the living daylights out of people as we went by. So we were taking lessons from Dad, you know. Another thing we did is we um, dug a big grave, and uh, two or three of us would lie in it, and we'd throw some leaves on it. And as we went by, at the right moment, we'd all jump up. <laughs> and then around the same area, we'd, had, uh, we'd take our socks and wrap them up and tie them and hook them up so that somebody would grab the string and out would come the bats and hit everybody in the head as they walked by. So we had a lot of fun, and, <laughs> and at the end of it, we all got in the truck, in the back of the truck that was filled with, uh, this is a dump truck, you know, and it was filled with hay, 
And Dad would go to the neighbors and he'd pick everybody up. I mean, I don't know how many people we had in this truck, but we just would stop at every neighbor, neighbor's house we could and say, come on, Carrie, get on, come on, Louise, get on. Everybody would get on and we'd go for miles and it just seemed like it never ended and it was cold and everything, but we, we had a blast. And we'd sing songs or whatever, just have a great time, tell ghost stories or whatever. And at the very end, Dad would drive down to the pond and he would lift up the dump truck and the hay would start to fall and the kids would start to fall and Mom would be screaming, Sonny, stop! And then he would drop it down and then he would lift it back up and the hay would start to fall and the kids would start to scream and the kids would start to fall and Mom would say, Sonny, stop! <laughs> And he'd just keep doing that, and the only gauge for him was Mom's fear. <laughs> that was it. He had no idea who was falling out, if anybody was falling out, but Mom was screaming loud enough, he knew when, when to gauge it and when to drop it down. And that's my story. Happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs>